Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you on a very classic conditional probability question. This question is actually asked in a lot of big tech company interviews. So let's deal with this today. So this question starts with the statement, one in thousand people have a particular disease. So what this tells us is that it has so it divides the whole population into two sets. One of the person, so one of them will be the people who have the disease, and the other will be the people who don't. So let's draw the diagram here. So on the left hand side will be the people who have it, and the right hand side will be the population who don't. So it says one in thousand of people will have the disease, which means the probability of that disease is 0 0.001, so 1 in 1,000. That also means the probability of lung disease is 1 minus 0 0.001, which is 0 0.999. So that's the first sentence. And then the second sentence, it says, the test for the disease is 98% correct in testing for the disease. So that means for the people who have the disease, which is on the left hand side, the probability that the result, the testing result come back positive is 98%. So yeah, so let's put that down here. So it says the probability that for the test, for the disease people, that the test come out positive, that's 0.98. And then the next sentence said, on the other hand, the test has a 1% error rate if the person being tested does not have the disease. So that means, given that the person does not have the disease, what it means by an error, that means the result still comes back as positive. So that means, given it's not, it has no disease and the result comes back as positive, the error rate is 1%, which is 0.01. And then so those are all those are all the information that we got from the statement. And what we're trying to solve is what's the probability that given the test is positive, that the person actually have a disease. So according to you, the conditional probability formula, formula, this could be calculated as the probability of disease intersect the test is positive divided by the probability of positive test. So let's solve each term individually. So the numerator, the probability that the person have the disease and the test result comes back positive. So that, just focus on the left hand side. So basically it's that we're looking at this part. Right? So the person has disease and the result is also positive. So yeah, so let's finish that. So that is the person have disease and given that the person have disease, the result comes back positive. So that's 0 0.001 times 0.98. So that's the numerator. So then let's look at the denominator. So the denominator is the probability of positive test. So let's use the other color. So the probability of positive test. And if we look at this diagram above so the when it test positive it could come from either side it could come from the people who have disease it could also come from the people who do not have disease so we need to add these two cases together two cases together so with that being said so the first case is that the people who have disease Sorry, I need to keep consistent. I'll use lowercase p for probability. 
Yeah. So the person who have disease, and given that the person who have disease is also tested positive, and then the other case is when the person do not have disease, but the test also comes back positive. So if we add these two cases, that's 0 0.001 times 0.98 plus 0.999 times 0 0.01. So now we have these two terms, so then we can put them into the original formula. So yeah, so let's put this to the numerator and put the second term to the denominator. And after you do that, the result comes back approximately 8.93%. So that's basically what the solution is. But one thing I want you to notice that is the result might be a little surprising to you, right? Because it seems like the test is very accurate. It has 98% time testing positive when you actually have the disease. But the other way, if you look at the other way, the test is positive and then the probability that you actually have disease might not be that high. So yeah, this might be a contradiction in your mind, but um, sometimes if you if you have a positive test, yeah, so what we could do is that you could go to another hospital and see another doctor, and if the second test also comes back positive, right, given two tests coming back positive, and the probability that you have a disease will significantly increase. Yeah, you can do some math after this, and I may make another video to explain why that's the case. Hope you like this solution. And like always, if you like this video, give it a thumb up and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.